Kill him. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, I got him falling right on me. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> It's the first week of September in North Dakota, and we're back at it this season chasing big velvet whitetails with our bows. But before we jump into the deer hunting action, we decided to knock down a few honkers during the early goose season. Now, none of us really had any goose hunting experience, so to say we were green would be an understatement. But we tucked in tight to some natural cover in a cattail slough and let her rip. I know I dropped one. He did. Well, shooting. Yeah, he's right yeah. over there. He busted him. <laughs> just wait. Just, uh, Ernie, you're not getting that one if it went in the cattails. I think it did. By yeah. Me. It'll be. There's got two coming behind us. That was perfect, guys. Yep. That was absolutely perfect. Yep, that worked good. Yeah, baby, hell yeah. yeah. Charity, Charity, got one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, They're in the field, come on. Here we go, make a lift, make a line of them. All right, guys, we're uh, here in North Dakota again. Uh, the wind was gonna be a little shifty tonight, so we decided we're gonna tuck into some cattails here and see if we can't hit some field geese. It's early goose season here in North Dakota and it's awesome. I mean, you're allowed to shoot 15 per person, so we didn't bring enough ammo for that. So we'll, uh, we'll see how this all shakes out. Yeah, stay tuned, because when the deer hunt's bad, the goose hunt is good. That's what I'm talking about. You don't really get big clouds of geese during the early season like you do once the weather cools off. Wads of three to five geese were pretty much the norm. But for a bunch of saddle hunters, we certainly weren't complaining. Alright guys, that wraps up our first evening of goose hunting. So like Ernie said earlier, we had some shifty winds. We didn't really know what direction it was going to be blowing. So instead of blowing out our good deer hunting spots, we just decided to go goose hunting instead. So we had so much fun. We're going to come back out in the morning and do it again. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun, that man. Fun. We got some good video. Um, this is actually the first time I've ever shot at a goose. So that's a first for me. But Yeah, I saw you at least crumple one or two. <laughs> I got at so. least one. So yeah, that was my great. shooting's not that bad. <laughs> um, and it's nice. I mean, these early season geese, they're not they're not real trained yet they uh they haven't been shot at a whole bunch so they were flying low and yeah. man it was just a lot of fun we'll get out here in the morning and smash a few yep. more we'll do it again sweet all right let's get the up. problem is when they first block came in i think we're all shooting at the middle one or the middle two cleaning a goose for the table is pretty straightforward all you need is a sharp knife and some Ziploc bags. If you've ever cleaned a turkey or a duck, you can clean a goose. Since we weren't set up for early morning deer movement and we were primarily hunting food sources, we decided to give the geese another go the next morning. Great, had a great hunt last night. Got four or five down. The plan is to come out here again this morning. We're in a different spot and hopefully get four or five more down. And uh, should be fun. If nothing else, you know, beat sleeping. Yep. That's for sure. Good 
Safety on. Lock, cock, and ready to rock. That's how it is hunting wood ducks down south. It's like you get five or six little volleys come in for 15 minutes and that's it. Now it's not quite the same as a big old buck coming in with his nose to the ground in November, but watching wads of geese and ducks come into the decoys, it is a thing of beauty. I promise it'll make a waterfowler out of you. seen a lot of geese but they're all landing like 200 yards from us out here in the field so we've only got one down uh, we've shot at a few but just haven't connected so they're still flying a little bit so we'll hang out here and uh, hopefully some more will come in and give us a shot they've just been kind of skirting wide of us we haven't really had too many in range so hopefully some more will come in here Yep, I see Oh, I got him falling right on me. Let's yeah. go. That was awesome. I got this sucker. Dude, that was perfect. That was perfect. Yeah, yeah. he came. That's amazing. I turned around and I filmed him as he dropped like five feet away from me. I mean, I was laying the road. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, I was over. right here. I was right there. For all you deer hunters out there who haven't tried waterfowl, I can't recommend it enough. It's fast paced and a total blast. Four. I've got four. I don't know how many they got. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Pretty cool early goose season if the deer hunting sucks like it does now, you shoot birds. Exactly. <laughs> it's always something to shoot. I think we might have made a goose hunter out of Jared. This is his first yeah, time doing is, it. Yeah, this is fun. Well, I've been saying that waterfowl is awesome for like two years now and everyone always says I'm an idiot, but I might be an idiot, but waterfowling is awesome. <laughs> Very cool. A lot of fun. That's it. See you guys next time.